All right, uh, once again, uh, greetings, family. Uh, this is Bomani Tamba, and I'm here to organize our conference call. Today is Sunday, July 5th. We're looking to uh, possibly do another conference call August 16th, and with that one, we'll keep you posted. Now, what I'm here to do is uh, go to all the details to make sure everyone that's uh, interested in connecting with us as far as the uh, land itself uh, in Jahadzi uh, is clear about all the details. So the conference call email is the source of information where all the information is sent. Some of the information is repetitive, uh, but the core body and um, and topics are, are usually different. Uh, but uh, it tells you when the next conference call is and give you all those details as far as all the links and all the information. So anyone that's interested can always look through the information ahead of time. That way, when you get on the conference call, you have um, you know, clear questions, right? So that's why we have all those things set up, uh, and also the same thing um, we're going to speak from uh, the form of reference is on our website, um, AfricaForTheAfricans.org. Uh, uh, once you get on there, uh, what it does is showcase tours and investments. An investment that's uh, on there uh, is, I would say, Black Star Repatriation and Pan-African Community. Once you click on that link, it's going to give you access to all of the details uh, to make sure that uh, everything is clear as far as uh, all the things that you need to know before you, you know you want to commit and join a group and also there's a public uh, Facebook group page facebook.com groups black star pan-african community and then scroll down some more uh, YouTube uh, video playlists and that's uh, of all of uh, interviews us visiting the land, meeting the chief, uh, us doing conference calls. Uh, all those calls are edited, and um, as far as the conference calls, the audio ones, and then uploaded and put in the same playlist. And so for those who are looking to connect in, they can get access to our previous uh, conference call and previous uh, details. Uh, so that's what those are for. So And also the Facebook group, uh, once you're in the Facebook group, they give you access to the photos for the land. So that's photos, videos, and documentation. And now uh, let me go to a few things before I go into the uh, 1 to 10 topics. All right, so once you click on the link on our website, uh, you'll see a list of 12 articles. I'm going to go through them based on the title of them, and then this, because uh, this is a continuation from a few different uh, conference calls I've done and also the last ones of these that, that I've done where we went through more of the details. Uh, so we have a full introduction, uh, site map, land survey, GPS location, lands commission search, prime objective of the community, business opportunity, building and buying homes, membership rules and code of conduct, membership application, pitches and videos, which is the same reference to link I mentioned uh, earlier on Facebook and YouTube, Committees uh, for Black Star Pan-African Community, uh, bylaws, and getting started. Uh, so, uh, so that's all full details. To summarize everything that I have here, what I've done is organize everything in one email to give you the full, you know, detail. That way, if someone is not, you know, that I haven't communicated with, they can look at the same information and be clear on. Uh, so the email that's uh, sent. Uh, the bylaws itself is one file. Then we have the uh, committee that's uh, one file. And every other document that I mentioned, all other nine documents together, um, they're basically just part of the overview um, along with uh, getting started. Right. And that does give you that full uh, process of detail. So one of the most important things that I'll recommend to anyone is to just literally take your time and read through all of the information. And then um, if you have questions, you can always uh, text me. And uh, what I'm looking to do is get more of us connected to where we can communicate on WhatsApp. Uh, that way we can just have a, a flow of our communication and get everyone set up for uh, what, we, what we're operating with, a private uh, group in general, private community group on WhatsApp, and then uh, 10 different committees. And once I communicate with more and more of everyone, you know, that's kind of just trying to communicate uh, that way. If I'm in and out uh, in Ghana doing tours or whatever, you know, we have direct communication uh, through that network, regardless of wherever any of us are, since 
most of us are you know, global folks and some of us live in different countries and move around. That is a committees uh, link, which is a new one. It will say committees for Black Star Pan-African Community in Ghana. Uh, it's just giving you a connection with the importance of the committees and also the list of 10. And it's uh, one of those things where once you read the getting started email, you just reply back which committee you want to connect into. And then we have the uh, bylaws and the general overview that's attached to the email uh, that you have to sign off on. Uh, so, you know, those are just uh, details, information to connect a like-minded group of people to process and connect with. Uh, so, uh, since we've talked so much in previous calls about all these in details, I'm going to skip it. So, um, I'm going to go from the Getting Started link on our website, uh, which is the last link under the uh, Pan-African community. So, I'm going to go from there to an email. And this is an email as if I was sending it to um, anyone in general. Uh, so you, you scroll down and give you uh, the cost, which is uh, $3,000 total. Um, and that's uh, for phase two. And that's $500 administrative costs. And that includes paperwork, uh, transfer payments, um, all of the group documents that's needed, uh, 2,500 represent land costs. And uh, the only other cost that's uh, not included your individual land survey, individual registration is not included, and then naturally uh, you know, your building permit. Uh, so it's a um, flow of things that um, it covers, but those are the main two things that uh, we highlight on there. Um, and those are documents are uh, several, several hundred dollars. And uh, the goal is to honestly just put as many of us together to do it and get a reduced price. Uh, so those are the things that's in process, all these techniques and ways to just make our strength in numbers uh, count. All right, so there's also a link um, uh, to payment options and a recommend uh, Zelle Pay. So those are the things that's in the getting started email. Also, there is a cancellation of refund policy um, that's, uh, say, phase one or phase two. Uh, phase one costs are different, so it's a different situation. Uh, the attached files you're going to have that I mentioned, so the ones that I didn't mention is what it's telling you to, to do is, uh, and these are all uh, attached uh, samples also uh, that you've seen in the email. Uh, so one, sample membership application. So that's in PDF, so if you need to just type it online, you can do that. Um, there's also a blank application and also one in Microsoft Word. Uh, so whichever way you work that out and sign it. National criminal um, background check, so whatever country you're in. So for those of us that are in the U.S., it's a national uh, background check, so that's the whole uh, country itself. And uh, your passport, um, regardless of whatever country you're in, uh, the, the signature page, and also a separate uh, passport-style photo, which would be used as your profile page. Uh, so all of this uh, need to be scanned and attached to the email as neat as possible. Perfect, and uh, beyond that, uh, it talks about the overview, uh, the bylaws, and the uh, committee document. Uh, so those are your full details. Once all those things are clear and sent back via email, um, I usually just email you and let you know uh, what's completed and what's not completed, and that way, uh, whatever is not completed, you just you know you can just communicate back with me and just, you just get it organized, and then I'll be communicating with you on WhatsApp. And once you just close out in the process where everything is clear, um, we connect. Um, you pay a deposit. Um, it's a five hundred dollars uh, minimum deposit, and that goes towards the three thousand uh, dollars. So uh, that's what gets you started, and uh, you get an email, uh, PDF receipt, and it would have. Uh, balance the uh, due date and everything, and uh, uh, all of our information and the details of what you are acquiring. So those are the things that uh, we have set up, and uh, then you know, we'll connect you into our, our, our WhatsApp group and connect you into our ongoing discussion of building the community. And the same thing with um, you know, the committee uh, that we connect you into. This do your best to keep up and connect, and you know, we'll. Uh, the more we can put our energy together, the better, the faster, the more efficient we can build this community. I agree with family, and um, 
have everybody back in regular mute mode so you can press star six to unmute yourself. What I wanted to do is, uh, since we went over this so many times, especially last uh, month, um, I wanted to just do a quick overview um, and just get right to questions. And um, but before I um, before I do that, let me just go to one last thing, uh, which is the update on phase two, um, and then we can just open things up. Uh, so, all right. So the latest update is. Uh, the 15 acres we're working on closing out the uh, final payments for that um, in uh, about a month and a half. And then um, we're already in negotiation, which have been a few months uh, for the 50 acres. Uh, so it's uh, one of those things where we have started early and ahead of time as far as making that deal. So the land of the 15 acres is connected to the 50 acres. Uh, so on the original map, we show 15 uh, acres on the right side. It said extension to future land. Uh, so uh, we'd have to get a new site map organized. So the goal in that will all be in effect and all settled to work for it is the end of August to uh, the end of September. And uh, between that time, um, a deal will be finalized where there's a deposit made and we'll get access to get a, a land survey on the 50 acres and then we'll submit a land search. Uh, so all of that is in that time frame. Now a quick overview of phase one and phase two. So the total of 15 acres is 60 plots. Uh, the residential and commercial plots on both phase are 80 feet by 100 feet. Uh, lots for a total, for a total of 8,000 square foot. Uh, so that's uh, 80 foot by 100 foot uh, once again. 50 of those plots are for uh, residential, which has been all acquired by um, current group members. Uh, so that remains uh, 10 uh, plots uh, for park, community center, business center, and security posts. Uh, phase two will be a total of 50 acres uh, of 200 uh, plots, uh, 80 by 100, uh, for residential and business. Uh, this will include 20 to 32 plots for farming, at least 100 plots for residential, um, and then you have apartments slash condos, um, on-site uh, commercial investment, uh, that's 40 to 50 plots, community store, two plots, medical center, two plots, education slash training building, four plots, maintenance facility, two to four plots, additional park, community center, and business center. So all of that will fit in the variation of a 200 uh, plot uh, set up on 50 acres. So that will complete a foundation of a nice uh, set community for 65 acres. And we have included as many things as possible to where you can do your business. You can mobilize and everyone who have different backgrounds and, and skills can participate that way. And, you know, the financial cost of the community also works some of itself out and we could um, have less we have to individually put towards a development plan and also finance and certain things. Uh, all right, so it is uh, set to where uh, we already have 50-something plus people and then we're working on the next 100 um, plus people. And then together, uh, 150 plus um, is um, economic strength and energy we have to just get this all done within the next uh, three to five years. So uh, the details I went through a little while ago is the application and reservations for phase two process. Once you finish all of it and submit everything, I'll be putting working on a list from 1 to 100 and once we have a site map ready uh, we'll, go, we'll go from the top to bottom and you select your, your you know, the plot that you want based on the best arrangement that we can make as far as um, creating a nice site map that connects uh, the 50 acres and it's the same thing for those who want uh, anything commercial so uh, that's uh, the waiting list of operation all your documents completed, then the deposit. And for those who want to wait, you know, uh, it's uh, definitely all good. Uh, we'll do your best. Uh, you know, we'll do our best to keep you posted. And uh, as things uh, go and mature and build up, um, if we can build another phase, like example, another hundred acres to make it 165, uh, you know, that's all open. Uh, you know, but uh, the main thing is that we need to start where we are and build up versus the tragedy that we've had over the, the it seemed like almost forever of this, people who have a whole lot of land and just don't know where to start and just chasing themselves around and around. 
and um, you know even with all the help uh, still don't materialize on this so a lot of it also has to do with this um, since most of us uh, are not uh, community uh, developers but together we are um, we just have to all just flow together and so the process that's been laid out is the best way to get us connected to where we can do this where it can benefit all of us and our families and it will be a cooperative or this an investment for all of us to share all right uh, so the other things uh, that you'll see throughout the documents uh, or you may have received via email and if you haven't received certain things you can just always reply back and let me know uh, we do have a 99 year lease that's completed and a memorandum of understanding uh, so that's the next two things that would have to also be done um, M MOU or memorandum of understanding uh, for the 50 acres of land where you know, two different parties sign off on it uh, as far as representation and then whatever agreement is made as far as the financial payment of that land is laid out in it and then we just follow through with it and it's uh, just that simple and we have a consultant and a lawyer and um, the chief himself all of us are even in a, a group ourselves and we communicate and everything that we need to talk about we talk about and work it out uh, simple no bureaucracy or no uh, procrastination all right so family what I'm going to do uh, I'm going to open things up for uh, for question and we'll continue with the other half of the uh, topics that way we don't save everything for last our family, uh, we're back in mute mode. Um, for those who have any questions, uh, star six to meet yourself, um, your name, where you're calling from, and your question. Hello, Bamani. Uh, greetings, uh, Velta. How are you? How are you? This is Velta, Toronto. How is everyone doing? I'm doing all right. Um, are you hearing me okay? Uh, yes, uh, your volume could be a little louder, but I can hear you. Oh, wow. Uh, I don't know what's happening. Um, if one purchased one plot at the same time, more than one plot at the same time in phase two, would, uh, would that person need to have separate application? And would that fee for the administration would be separate for each different plot, regardless if person is buying, like, say, two, three plots at the same time? Yeah, the price is the same per plot. Um, and... Um, you just have to fill out one application and that's one you know application package and that's it. Uh, but if individuals or grown people are going to be uh, on that plot, then they have to fill out the whole thing themselves also and submit all their documents. So the process is um, uh, uh, one application package per person, even if there's four of them in one house. Uh, as far as adults, uh, 18 or over, and then 17 or under children. They can go on the adult uh, application. So, um, so the um, initial application for phase one would not, um, it could be different for phase two. It's the same thing you have to go through, new application. No, it's the same application. Uh, there's one application. Um, okay. It would just show that you have two plots and you have a plot in another phase and it's just a little bit more money. Okay, and more money, but um, still, I'm just saying, if you buy more than one or two or three plots or so forth, yeah, so it's the um, administration fee again would be separate five hundred dollars for each plot. Uh, yes, it's uh, it's two hundred two thousand five hundred plus five hundred total three thousand per plot. So if you get ten plots, it's um, it's going to be five, it's, uh, I mean, it's going to be ten times five hundred for the administration fee. Yes, it doesn't change anything, um, but uh, what we recommend is one plot per person or one plot per family. Uh, but if individuals want more, I don't want to stop them from getting more because we can always get more and more land, but uh, we don't have a situation for, it, for a deal. If an individual wants like five or ten acres, then we can negotiate a separate five to ten acres of land and then work out that deal. But as far as a pre-organized community, it's just per plot price with admin costs included in the three thousand dollars and uh, what percentage is the down payment you said down payment begins in august or september whenever whenever individuals are ready they make they can make a down payment and what i'm li literally looking to do is uh, you know i have a list of one to one hundred and then as people come along i'm just filling the numbers in and uh, so you know whenever individuals get around to it it's no pressure um, started um, uh, last month. Okay, thank you. 
Oh yes, absolutely. And then if you know you want to send me a message, or so you can send me a message on WhatsApp. And if uh, something's not clear, I can just talk directly with you. Okay, thanks. I'll do that. All right, uh, perfect. Uh, if anyone have any questions, uh, press star six to unmute yourself, and then give your name where you're calling from. Your question. Uh, anyone else that's not speaking, this uh, make sure that you're on uh, mute. Hey, Bomani, this is Toya. How you doing? Uh, greetings, uh, Toya. Uh, can you just uh, share a little bit about the um, the committees and how uh, new people may be introduced to the committees um, for uh, phase one and for phase two? Uh, yes, uh, absolutely. It's one of those things where um, um, I have a committee uh, sheet that's uh, part of the process of anyone that's uh, uh, joining us. Um, it's um, something that we'll be communicating with before you join. So uh, once you get the message, uh, you look through it and as far as you, your interests, um, and I'll just read off the 10 committees. That way it's, you know, it's uh, relevant as far as uh, details. And then also, uh, especially for those who just are listening for the first time, the 10 uh, committees also represent all of what needs to be represent a body of this. Everything that you can think of that needs to be done, there's a mind uh, energy as far as this uh, group of people working together to figure it out. So once a uh, new individual uh, join in and they select, uh, I'm trying to get a pull up of this list of committees. All right, there we go. Uh, one, business and professional affairs. Uh, two, safety, security, and surveillance. Three, education, cultural, and social affairs. I should say education, culture, and social affairs. Sustainable utilities. Uh, four, five, medical and wellness. Six, planning and development. Seven, maintenance and landscaping. Eight, waste management and recycling. 9, Agriculture and Livestock, uh, 10, Bylaws and Homeowners Affair. All right, so that's the list of those committees. And the, um, uh, what we do is um, usually just introduce the um, individual to the group organizers, and then once I do that, everyone just kind of introduce themselves in that specific uh, committee. And then uh, the goal is just to discuss uh, different um, and, and different projects relative to what the committee overview is uh, as we have it uh, laid out in the bylaws and have it uh, sent in different uh, information. And so uh, if you have that skill, that background, and that energy, you just you keep in touch with everyone. But the biggest thing everyone can do is kind of just keep in touch and work together where as many people as possible can be on a call together and work on the things that you feel that would improve and make the committee uh, slash community uh, effective. Um, and you just do your best. Uh, but what we're building right now is literally a foundation of where you're just communicating and introducing people and getting to know people. And while we're dealing with the world of just getting things legally processed and gone, and then some of us can't make a move there. So we're just doing the best with the time and doing the best with just getting people connected. And it's, a, it's something that will just take a process anyway, just like you go to any community. You you know, you just get to know a few people, which is the first set of people we in the uh, committee, and then once we do more private group calls, then more of us can literally just connect and then talk more about the different projects and the different things we're working on, and then just kind of just make it all work. So it's a flow of this based on us using our minds together and say, hey, this is what we're going to do, and we're going to work together and make it work because it's going to benefit us, our children, our, you know, folks uh, in the diaspora, diaspora that may be looking that has come in the future and they just want to see a nice example of some of us being this, you know, being successful, surviving, doing all right, uh, and things like that, because that's also a nat natural part of this whole element of repatriation uh, and living and doing business in Africa. A lot of people, uh, you know, make jokes about some of us being guinea pigs and things like that, but it's one of those situations where, you know, we're, you know, we're, we're putting uh, as much uh, energy as possible into making this communi you know, community work. Uh, that way we can just you know, get more support in different ways. So all of it uh, literally works, and hopefully that uh, answers your question uh, in uh, detail, Toya. Thank you, Bamani. And absolutely. 
All right, family, uh, anyone else have any questions? I'm definitely looking for questions from those who have went through all of the process of the details on our website. And uh, let me know if things are clear or not clear. All right, so family, it is star six to unmute yourself. All right, family, I'm going to put everyone back in lecture mode and just go through what we have on the conference call email. All right, so family, as I was uh, saying on uh, different uh, committees, on the uh, conference call newsletter, once you uh, look down the topics, it's number 10, you'll see all uh, 10 uh, committee. So that's also another process that you have to process to see if you're interested in joining the energy of what we're looking to build together as a people, uh, just using corporate economics on its uh, strongest level. Um, so everything that you're processing is the best way, you know, kind of put an energy together to make this work and especially you know, myself based on just do my best to work with different people and uh, trying to assist more than anything else. And then after a while, it's just like, okay, well, you know, let's just try a different strategy and uh, let's be a little more organized. Uh, so uh, since, you know, um, we can't get back time, the best thing that we can do is just accelerate and, just, um, and at the same time to be efficient. So uh, the different people that's organized in the different um, committees, the goal is literally uh, to just lay out the energy to just connect with everyone else and uh, you know we're all going to be communicating uh, in general, and with this, um, and for those who need to speak up or communicate, this do your best, um, and it's something that we should be able to com you know connect together and have a conversation with our common interests and work out. So, not this betting that is that simple, uh, you know. So we have one or two committees that are not as organized and as far as just being up and running as far as people. Uh, so it's definitely a level of people getting to know each other uh, is a big difference also. So I'm going to be working a few different uh, things as we begin to just talk more private and everything. So, But this is one of the public conference calls. I do my best to just try to keep and update and communicate with us at least every four to six weeks and, you know, more so just telling everyone uh, just look through the information because most of what I'm doing is going back through what's typed up already uh, and so on. Right. So the next set of thing is now that we are closing out on the land deal is our goal is to literally get it uh, clear and graded. Uh, so that's included also in uh, the administrative costs because the goal is to make sure you have enough money to just you know, get it taken care of efficiently. All right, and also includes uh, the pillars that we with your name that would just showcase the land. And the goal is to get um, a quote for gravel of how much it would take to gravel the roadway that uh, the surveyor would map off based on us submitting our site map. All right, so those are all things looking to get done um, around mid towards end of August, as the August. September become a busy time frame and that's basically just planning out months and months on doing these things that way they can get done this time so that would be one year since we you know came up on the land and connected the chief and you know made a deal where we gave him a deposit uh, so that'll be September 2019 to September 2020 uh, straight up one year uh, and you know so when people make all these reasons and excuses why they can't come together to this work out land deal and make it work and and 16 years of failure from Garvey Town and, and, and folks like that, and saying this, just coming up with all kind of reason, reasons and excuses. But uh, yeah, nothing is easy. So I'm proud of the energy of all of us as a um, group of people uh, that stuck with the energy of um, since we're connected, we have applications in to start want to build in Ghana, and you know we have the same problem you know with you know, with Garvey Town this put our energy together so here we are after that situation and so that will be that one year and that was a whole lot of progress uh, so right now let's uh, spend the next uh, month two months to finish up our, uh, you know, our comprehensive business plan and also a building list um, 
and, and also as I get recommendations um, from people who are looking at looking and, and checking out builders, uh, looking to go through a process where they talk with our consultant and eventually our lawyer, and we just work out everything in a contract deal where everything is itemized, uh, labor, material, where we can put our money together and order materials, uh, save ourselves a whole lot of money, and don't have to be at any builder's uh, mercy whether they want to charge an extra five thousand um, dollars for material costs uh, and things like that. So. In a lot of uh, incredible strategic ways of just working out what we're looking to build. And for those who see any other ideas or ways how we can just complete this process of just build that foundation and get the community going, uh, please speak up. Don't hold your breath. Or you know, it's one of those things where if you don't say anything, we just we're using the best help and going by you know and going the best way we can go at it. Which uh, you know we have basically all the things in place. So that is that. All right, uh, so seven uh, is uh, talks about land registration um, to get deeds. So same as phase one, same as phase two, and uh, land clearing. Uh, our goal is to just get access to phase two a lot quicker. Uh, that way we can just get that cleared and and I get this uh, you know um, entire 65 acre community build up. So. It's going to take a lot of planning and organizing, so that's the best thing I can say for us right now in the next few months to put our minds together and keep planning it out, keep getting to know each other, and just figure it out. All right, so now you see us say WhatsApp and Facebook. So we do have a private uh, Facebook group page for those who are on Facebook, um, and if you're not, um, not looking to pressure anyone to join Facebook, but it's another page where we post information, and for individuals who are trying to know each other, you have access to communicate with other people that are you know, you know, connected in the same world as you filled out all the details, agreed to all of the same information, and then, you know, and so on. So this foundation building, you know, looking to where by next summer, uh, when more of us are connecting there, we'll have, you know, a stronger connection, and we can just really put more of our uh, energy together. Right, uh, and as far as WhatsApp, that's uh, the key to this, how we operate, since we're going to be moving all over the place, this... Uh, download the app uh, for those who are not familiar with it. Uh, eventually, once I communicate with you, um, that's usually one of the things that need for everyone to literally just join up on and also uh, for everyone just to add a photo, a profile photo of themselves, uh, preferably a current uh, photo. Uh, it's not a beauty contest or anything. It's, we just need to know how everybody look and and as I you know, look through all the documents and look at everyone, uh, other people that are don't have access to the same information, and that's our way to get you connected with them, you know, the Facebook private uh, group and the also um, WhatsApp private group, and then the uh, video calls. So even with the video calls, you just actually want to either use your phone, your computer. Um, they're, they're private, so it's just us, but we need everyone to test out their equipment. Uh, we usually do Zoom for the private video call. That way we can at least have 50 people or more. Um, and, you know, we just work a process where... If you hadn't introduced yourself, you introduce yourself, and we just go through updates, go through committee updates, and keep going at it, and going through all of the information. And uh, it's just an ongoing process of just more and more information, and just looking through it and processing it. So a lot of things, you know, may sound repetitive, especially for those who are just been rolling with us since the beginning of last year. It's also just a way to document information and just be consistent with it, so we can just uh, track, you know, track ourselves and see how the progress of everything going. But uh, so that's really it, family. Not much of any uh, new updates. So, but hopefully the new updates that we'll get is we have our business incorporation and also have access to this get our community uh, registered land 99 here our uh, lease that we have. Uh, in the Lands Commission uh, to finalize the deal. So those are also the set of things that are going on. And then while the land is being clear and things that it, that's being done and when we're here, uh, the goal is to just hire someone uh, to take pictures and videos. So that's something that I already worked out. So once uh, documentation comes from the land or any updates, uh, that's always my goal is to update everyone in the group chats and the emails and, uh, and, then, and so on. It's all there. Uh, so for those who don't have the phase two is ready or phase two getting started, I have another, I title another email. 
it's uh, phase two are uh, getting started, uh, basically. Um, it will have all of these attached documents. So, no, the best thing I recommend uh, once you get access to this email is just download all of the documents in a folder and take your time, look through it. And then for those who are just operating off the um, website, just take your time and go through one at a time and then click on next and go through it and take notes. And, uh, you know, we'll go through it. All right, family, so that is all of the details on the uh, conference uh, conference call email. The only other detail is just all of the committees are uh, 1 to 10 in details, which uh, we'll save ourselves from that one. Uh, but what I want to do is just to hear from different people that are part of the current group and just to share experience, share interest, just, um, just anything that you want to share, talk, or communicate with. Uh, it's an uh, open call. Let's uh, press star 6 to unmute yourself. All right, if anyone asks about uh, phase two, um, uh, as far as the site map, the best I can tell you, because uh, a uh, survey has to be done in a land search, so the best I can tell you is you're looking at uh, September. And so it goes for all those things is um, August, September, but uh, as far as more of that site map complete and look good, uh, probably more so in October. And then that's when you're going to be able to select your plots um, and then get access to all your builders. Uh, I run a time frame of October, November, and then for people in phase one, you may just get access to certain things maybe a month or two earlier. It's a continuous thing, so the goal honestly is just to get all of this done uh, before the end of the year, and then we go when we go in December on tour again, uh, we can see the progress. I have everyone in mute mode, so you press star six to uh, meet yourself and unmute yourself. And then if you have any questions, I'm looking at the chat also. You can type it in there, and I'll read it off. Hello? Uh, Green, Hello? I'll give your name and where you're calling from. Lauren, I'm calling from the Washington State area. Lauren. La Lauren. Uh, Green, uh, Lauren, uh, this is Bomani. Uh, Guard with your question. I do have a direct question about employment. Um, for Americans coming to Ghana and being employed is how does that work? Uh, the best thing I can tell anyone is to uh, write a business plan and uh, we're building a community from the ground up and all of us are doing business so we just use the business that we all do to take care of each other and it's a community so everything's kind of leveraged. Okay. okay. Uh, so right. we have, yeah, exactly, you know, um, we have five to eight acres of land uh, which is the important of phase two. So whatever we agree on based on the agricultural committee, um, uh, that's what we grow. And as far as uh, everyone's property with us, the best thing we can all do is just grow different trees and different uh, fruits and uh, veggies around your property also. Make it a complete okay. metropolis. Um, and, um, and then we're right there by the ocean. And where we are, things are very inexpensive. And uh, But the, the goal is to honestly... Your goal is to reduce the cost of living and the cost of stress where, like some people have uh, the cost of living maybe five, ten thousand dollars $10,000 a month. And, you know, so they just, they spend their whole month uh, working. Uh, so, you know, this is to where you just, we agree that we all do certain things. Uh, we pay whatever money that needs to be paid as far as um, the development costs and also, uh, uh, you know, maintenance uh, or, health, uh, or association costs. And um, we just go full-blown cooperative economics. Those who do business have access to the business uh, center or their own business space. And, you know, we just really just reduce the cost of what it costs to just enjoy paradise and mm -hmm. uh, live in more an environment where we look out for each other. Um, and, you know, if you need to go somewhere, you need someone to look out for your business, your family, and so on, we just provide all that there in the community. And if for those who just don't want to deal with public school, we just all educate our, our own children. We just, we just have a space and all of us just work it out. We have an education committee and that's the importance of those uh, uh, committees. Uh, so okay. all of that literally just, it kills a lot of the stress and you know, because if you add it up and go around and do a poll, most of us are going through the same situation. So if you put all our resources together, we solve all of our problems together. Sounds great. Okay. All right. All right. I like that. Okay. Thank you. Hello, uh, WT, WT from Michigan. 
Absolutely. Uh, greetings, our brother WC. Um, go ahead uh, with your question. Uh, yeah, uh, that uh, 80 by 100, how many bedrooms would that consist of? Um, you can probably put, uh, you can put your, um, like a four-bedroom, three-bathroom, uh, two-floor house, or you can put a three-bedroom uh, ranch-style house um, with or without, without okay. a garage. And um, it's more than most of the property that you get here. It's, and it's big enough to where you can put a few different trees in your backyard, your side yard, and um, yeah, have some, you know, some, some basic space. Okay, great. Three bedrooms. Okay, will it, uh, three bedrooms will be with a garage, correct? Uh, it's up to you. Um, our goal once we get to that point in the next few months is... Okay, gotcha. Of gotcha. Options and you just pick what you want and we just build what you need to get built and gotcha. work it out uh, in details. Okay, sounds good. Thank you very much. Uh, absolutely. Um, hello? Uh, greetings. Uh, your name and now. Uh, where are you calling from? Your question? Uh, this is uh, Brother David from Baltimore, Maryland. Uh, greetings, uh, David. Glad to meet your question. Have you considered container homes, or will it be a possibility for us to use containers to build homes? Uh, yes, absolutely. Um, got a list of a few people, uh, two people, and then just got another one recently. Uh, so about uh, three to four on the list. Um, my brother's checking them out little by little, and um, that way we don't have a confusion with uh, these things. Uh, so that is the goal. Uh, I have a list of uh, different designs and things here. Um, and so the goal is to get about three different people that we clear on once we sit down, work it out with them, get a uh, good estimated price, and, you know, work that out. So I'm hoping that we find a, the best way to make that efficient um, and reduce the cost of us building homes. Um, so, uh, yes, absolutely. Okay, thank you. That was all I needed to know. Hello, Brother Bomani. Hi, uh, greetings. Hi, this is uh, Catrice from Dallas, Texas. Um, I believe that, I don't know if I read it or maybe you mentioned it, but um, this village is about two hours away uh, from Accra. Uh, it's an hour and a half. Hour and a half. And yeah. do you guys have a list of builders? I think you mentioned um, some um, builders. Yes, I have a list of builders that um, I'm going. Uh, it's like eight people all together. Um, uh, the three container homes that we mentioned, uh, people who specialize in different things, uh, dome, um, uh, ram, earth, and different things. But the goal is to go through with everyone. I don't um, I just approach things a little different in Ghana than uh, than some people may approach. Um, so uh, we know kind of a military style operation of, of how you just connect with the people. Our goal is to really have a sit down with all of our builders together with our, with our uh, what have, we have one lawyer right now, one consultant, but add another lawyer. And we just have a real sit down and we work certain things out to where we actually get this thing built without procrastination and without uh, bureaucracy and things like that. Uh, and then I have people there that's coming, that's going to be there ahead of time. They're going to be micromanaging this, making sure things get done. So what we're doing, it, it takes a little more time, uh, but I do have a list of uh, those builders. So once anyone actually just finish their process and they get everything together and ready to go um, by like September, uh, they can just start um, getting a contract together with a builder based on what you're looking to do. All right, thank you. All right, absolutely, uh, you're welcome. This is uh, Green, Catherine from New Jersey. Uh, Green, Green's uh, sister, Catherine, uh, thank you for reaching out. How are you? I'm doing well. My question is in reference to phase two um, for the farmland. Have we uh, begun to think about um, uh, offering any discount incentives for people that buy one acre or more? Uh, no, not at all. Um, Anyone wants some more land, um, I can get them connected with our chief and uh, the consultant, uh, our lawyer. Our which, uh, and that's why I'm looking to just get another lawyer because uh, that way we can work things out for other people. Uh, no, what we have is just really what I always recommend is just one, you know, one plot per person. But if um, one of the big issues at Garvey Town is people want more plots, but you can get more plots. It's just the same cost, um, and uh, unfortunately. Uh, but uh, as far as yourself, um, 
I think we already got a few for you. So if it, if you're talking about yourself, it's that's more like a, something that you and I have to personally talk about, and then we'll, we'll work it okay. out. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I think that's Thank what you're you. talking about. But but in general, yes. um, it, it's um, three thousand per plot. Um, okay. So uh, and uh, also, Catherine, were you were you talking? Were you looking to do a little bit of a residential and commercial? Well, um, I already mm -hmm. have uh, the residential. Uh, Plot, but I wanted to. I wanted a farm. The the, the farm part is uh, included. It's five to eight acres of land. You can farm there. You can have fun farm as much land as you can farm. All right, perfect. Uh, the five to eight acres. Uh, once we analyze it, let me know if that's uh, enough. Uh, it should be enough for us to do livestock and just the things that we are, we agree on to farm. But if you want to do a separate okay. business for farming, uh, we can definitely get you some separate land also. Okay, thank you. All right, perfect. Uh, but, you know, yeah, you and I will definitely uh, talk. I'll, I'll reach out to you because uh, we still have to connect also on some other things. Okay, thank you. All right, All right first, uh, everyone, uh, just hold for a few uh, seconds. Uh, I've got one question I want to go through real quick. Uh, someone say, I understand that there's a 99-year lease. If the current chief were to pass away, could his family come and cancel the lease before the 99-year? Uh, the answer is no. What we have set up is legal paperwork and agreements, um, lawyer, high court, stamp, approved. So uh, everything we're doing is a legal legal situation and things like that. And so that's one of the things where we're not moving in any direction. Unless, and that's why I keep on talking about lawyer and consultant. Um, all of that is just a strategy to work things out. Add family at star six to unmute yourself if you have any questions. And uh, what we're talking about is uh, getting started uh, with um, phase two and getting started with just the entire billing process of our Black Star repatriation in Pan-African community. And uh, once again, Stanley, the uh, information that we have gone over, uh, you can uh, access it from the, the newsletter that was sent. If you receive it via WhatsApp or anything like that or Facebook, you have to click on the link and it opens up to a full newsletter. All right, someone have a question? Um, yes, Tanya from Michigan. I would like to know, would there, hi, I would like to know, would there be any HOA charges, like a monthly charge? Uh, yes, homeowner association. Uh, so it is uh, set for $30 a month. Um, post office. Will we rent a, a post office box? Uh, yes, uh, that's a good. Qu that's a great question. Uh, that sequence. What we can do? Um, we can process a few options. We can set it to where we have a specific uh, box for our community, the, the closest town, uh, which is Winneba, and. Once the mail get there, uh, we get it, and then we just set something up in our community center or our business center where uh, everyone gets access to, to that mail. Uh, so that's uh, one possibility we can do. Okay. And what about um, driver's license and insurance? Will we be able to get that from the, the town, or will we purchase that stuff from a car? Uh, yes, yeah, so you, uh, you have to take a, uh, uh, you, you can apply for one of these international driver's license here, but once you get to Ghana, if you want a li license there in Ghana, you have to you know, do a road test and you have to fill out the paperwork there. So we can get you to um, uh, uh, motor vehicles, uh, Department of Mo Motor Vehicles there. Mm -hmm. And for those who want to do that, um, and for the rest of us, um, the some of us will put our money together. Um, and, you know, we just have optional transport there at the beginning of the community. For those of us who want to go out, we just use that, you know, we have community drivers. That's another option, uh, which should also reduce the amount of vehicles in the community. But if you want to do that, uh, um, that's uh, all those are options uh, for you. Thank you. And absolutely, uh, you're welcome. Hello. Uh, greetings. Uh, your name and where you come from? Hi. This is uh, Akua. I'm calling from Brooklyn, New York. Uh, uh, greetings, Akua. 
how are you? My question is regarding a bank account. I have a coworker who I was asking about what's the best place to open up a bank account so I can do something like in advance and start to put some money there so I'll have an account set up when I get there. Is there something you can recommend or a bank you can recommend as far as the bank account? Uh, yes, uh, there's a separate company uh, right now. It's called the uh, the Black Star Line Cooperative uh, Credit Union, and um, that's uh, you can find it online. Uh, if you just want to search for it, uh, that's one option. Um, uh, but beyond that, uh, the best thing to do is, uh, you know, once you get once you get there and you stay back, uh, we can always arrange something to where. You know, by that time, the goal is to have the physical things set up to where uh, the things that you need to get a bank account will be simpler. So we have a relationship with um, Ghana Commercial Bank based on this. The few people that we do business with uh, have those accounts. Uh, so that's one place we can just get you uh, an account there. But uh, the main thing you have to do, you have to physically show up there, unfortunately. Um, there may be ways around that, but... Um, last I checked, that was out. All of us had bank accounts, and we we're told that we couldn't do it any other way. So that's the best that I can tell anyone. Once you get to the country, um, you know, we do our best to set things up for you. Okay. So, guess I'll have to wait then. Thank you. Uh, yes, but you can you can try to say Black Star Line Cooperative Credit Union. You know, anyone want to email me? Just send me an email for anything, and I'll just reply back with a link and details. Uh, as far as that credit union. Um, other than that, that's, uh, that's unfortunate. But we'll do our best to work out some better ways to do that. I'm sure you know, once we get there, we can pull it off. We're members from here. We can get accounts ahead of time. So all of these questions are you know, things I'm processing also, so appreciate it. All right, so family, as I was saying earlier, for those who are interested uh, in just having all the information on one email, just let me know, and I'll just get you that uh, phase two uh, getting ready uh, email and um, take your time and process it and I'm available throughout the day uh, for questions um, you can email call me text me on whatsapp and or just you know, where we where you communicate I'll look out for it and get everyone communicated and if you sent an application this my goal is to reply back which uh, to you and then this uh, may take a few days to go through some of them um, all, all together because uh, I go f go over them over and over and uh, once those things are set up I'll be uh, sending you a message on WhatsApp so anyone that's literally looking to join us make sure you download that app and if you have if you don't know what I'm talking about text me or something and I'll get it to you or just email me alright so family um, that's all the details I have for tonight uh, As a family, once again, so our videos on our YouTube page and those links are on our website, um, uh, MailChimp. Um, if you want to sign this stuff up for the email list, uh, when you, once you get to the website, you'll see a link that um, for it. Other than that, once you let me know that you're interested, I'll add you to the email list. And uh, the Facebook page is there, and uh, all documentation are there. So family, take your time read through all the information and process it and uh, once you're ready we'll get you settled and uh, the list will be for right now 1 to 100 so 100 plots available for or I should say 124 for residential development so if you're ready to get started, uh, just start working on that. And if you just want to keep on watching and you're not ready, that's fine. I'll just keep updating you uh, as we just keep doing the same thing over and over as we work towards progress. Uh, God, what's your um, name, your question? I have a question about infrastructure, water sources, and utilities. Have uh, those sure. been discussed and decided upon yet? They're not decided upon uh, as far as discussion, uh, plan and development. Uh, that's in the conversation uh, phase in committees along with the uh, business plan. But uh, we do have options as far as uh, electricity. Um, electricity is in the community as far as water and sewage. That's also in the community itself. 
as far as I should say, in the town itself. Uh, so what you do is uh, you just have to draw it in. So what we, have, what we have to do is we have to calculate a development cost and what it's going to cost to development, develop everything uh, and work it out uh, with where all members pay something towards it. And that's how we develop it because the only thing that we're paying for with the money for the land is the land and also that also help build the administrative and the legal team to take care of everything and represent you know, every one of us as individuals. Uh, so in the different meetings, uh, we're also talking about different ways to finance the community and things like that. Uh, but uh, we have everything that we need to do. With this, uh, we need this time and for us to finalize everything. All right, so let me know if that uh, answers your question. I feel like you, you keep saying something about Gahazi. Are you saying, I'm trying to get a picture. Are yeah. you saying that like our water sources would come from Gahadzi because when we uh, when the I Jahadzi the, is a town, Jahadzi. it's a town that's in between uh, Accra and uh, Cape Coast, about an hour and a half either way. Uh, the town itself has electricity as water and sewage, uh, so it has to be drawn in. So the those us as a community, we have to get the cost of those things, and we have to factor it into everything else. But, uh, we have a group called Plan and Development. Our goal is to look into that, add everything up, and also come up with a cost that we have to get per person to, to develop the community. So those people that are, that's a committee that you said that are developing the infrastructure. Is that correct? We're talking about it. We're having a conversation. conversation. Oh, just talking about it. Yeah, as far as, because the way, the, the way this is, set up is that we as a group we talk about how we're going to do everything else. What I've done up front is organize myself with a lawyer consultant and also the chief that owns the land for us to be able to communicate and get what we need to get done so the individuals that are in the, the group can come together and build their homes and enjoy their life. But we realized that we're at a point where we need a community built so we're organizing ourselves in committees talking amongst ourselves and figuring it out ourselves. And any uh, expert or professional we need, we just agree on that person and we get them just like we needed a lawyer and a consultant to get this going and a reputable chief that actually owns land. So it's the same process to compute the whole community. So uh, part of the document is that everyone, everyone participate in a committee. That way we work it all out. So do we already have a committee of persons or professional skilled persons who can intelligibly talk about the development of the infrastructure? Because yes. I can't I wouldn't dare step on that community that that committee. Yeah, because I mean yeah, we are not skilled. Yeah, it's um and it's also us using our brains and doing critical thinking and, and you know uh and we and finding who we need to find. Uh, yes, uh, the person who I'm, uh, that's representing the, the final layout of that is our consultant. Uh, so the person that from, from Ghana that would eventually get once we have like a business plan and certain things laid out, you'll reach out to him and then uh, we'll go from there. And same thing, if we have someone, um, something that we need, we just, whatever committee is connected to it, we just find what we need. So it's just one of those things where Everything is on us. Um, uh, I've been through a situation plenty of times where people say, hey, we have 5,000 acres of land, we have 3,000, we have 1,000, we have 300 acres of land, and you and your whole crew, group, people show up, and you're ready to, you know, and then there's nothing organized. So I told everyone that the only way that these things are realistically going to get done is if we get them done. So that, that was the best approach we came up with. And, looking for other people to give input and everything, and that's why I said we're just going to all work it out. But uh, we live in a world where we have talented black people everywhere, so it's all a matter of finding the people that we need and getting them connected and hiring them, paying them, whatever. Uh, like right now, I'm trying to find someone who's a professional community developer as far as putting together the, the programs and putting together the, the business plan. Uh, so, you know, we just keep working at it. Thank you. All right, absolutely. All right, family, we're going to stick around for another five minutes, and then we're going to close the call. So if you have any questions, uh, star six to unmute yourself. And uh, what we're talking about is the Black Star Repatriation and Pan-African Community. 
Black Star Pan African Community for a short or corporate name. And uh, anyone who's interested, just email, text me, and I'll get you the information you need. Just be ready to look to and process a whole lot of information, and then you're going to get you going. And uh, family, the last set of things, once you scroll down on the uh, investment uh, conference uh, call email, you'll see uh, the overview of our foundation uh, to build a community. That was September 2019 vision. So everything that we talk about in there, we process and we're already been going. But um, I have that in the newsletter to this connect us with where we started from. And then you'll see a few pictures of us uh, coming from the land. Uh, that we visited in December. So once again, family, this is bare land, and we're going to get it uh, clear, graded, laid out, and built from the ground up. And everything that we're building, we as a people, as a community, will own it. So we, we come together and we build a nice power station for our community. That's our power station. No more paying all these other power folks. And same thing with water. You can do catch water. You can do borehole. Uh, you can do reservoir system, uh, you have options. And for those who are looking to do, you know, for power, um, we have a sustainable group, uh, and they're looking to organize the best way for us to have um, you know, uh, power, uh, using solar power, uh, and also I'll talk about the community power grid. Those are future ways. All right, so family, uh, what I'm going to do uh, is connect back with everyone. So looking to connect with everyone mid-August and hopefully have a few more things for you and then connect again end of September where we should be able to just tell you everything is done. You can start building. All right. So family, while everybody's still waiting to get down off this lot down, the best thing I would recommend, put your business plan together, organize it, and build everything you need to build little by little here. Um, uh, there's no need for us to rush to the motherland. Um, different people have different situations. So the people are ready to roll. I got you. October, you'll be able to start building what you need to build. But uh, for those who need, need a little more time, honestly, just organize it, structure it, put it together where it's foolproof. That way you can enjoy paradise for a lifetime versus enjoying it for one year and then coming back and getting stuck in America for a lifetime. So not to be the bearer of bad news or anything, just want us to just be prepared, ready, and organized. And uh, the best thing we can do is just come together, look out for each other, and work together as a people. We have more than enough people that are, you know, that have different talents and everything. You know, we, you know, most of us have gave our life to the, the corporate world. So this is us giving our energy to our own corporate community, where, which will be owned by our children. All right, so family, last question. Star 6, do meet yourself if you don't have any other questions? What we'll do is um, I'll do my best to reach out to everyone and to send an email within the next seven days or so. Depends on what's going on. It takes Everything needs to be edited as far as this audio call. Um, but uh, anyway, family, so I look out for any emails or any message. Other than that, appreciate everybody's time. Enjoy your Sunday. And... Look forward to seeing everyone that's coming to Ghana in December on a journey of a lifetime. And you take care, enjoy your night, and I'm going to mute everyone. All right, so family, everyone is unmuted. Uh, everyone, good night. Good night. All right, good night. Okay. Bye.